Hey guys, welcome back to Star Citizen with me, Bradham73, as I continue on my beginner series. And today we are basic... Uh... Not sure... Hi there. I don't think his armor matches, but... <laughs> it ain't me. Where the hell... Where the heck did this guy come from? Oh my gosh. Um, so today, I'm basically going to be trying to grind out as many bounties as I possibly can. And, ooh, it looks kind of, looks like we might be on a fairly busy server. I don't know. That could be good. That could be bad. Pad number six. Well, while we're waiting, let's go ahead. Yeah, we've got bounty, high-risk target. Yes! This is the one I've been looking for. The advanced tracker license. This will allow me to do very high-risk targets and make the most money. So that is really good. So... This is kind of where you, you're going to want to end up as a bounty hunter. The, the, this right here is going to be the, the bounties that we're going to be doing most often. And once you get up to very high risk target bounties, the money is going to start pouring in. And... Um, so long as so long as we can uh, okay yeah we got our helmet on all right it's okay brad it's okay calm down oh i can't wait i cannot wait i didn't think um i didn't think we would be up to this point yet but i'm glad that we are we're gonna jump on our ship and sit down i think And, yep, shields are at 100%. So, yeah, if... Uh, well, the other thing I need to do is I need to go to Mercenary. Now, we need to accept Call to Arms, like one does. But, um, yeah, if you look at the accepted missions, um, with your proven track record, the Bounty Hunters Guild would like to offer you the chance to earn an advanced tracker license. This license would signify that you are qualified to track and apprehend very high-risk targets. These criminals can travel in larger multi-crew ships with heavy escorts. So, yeah, so they're a lot more dangerous, but... Engines what? Engines okay, let's get out of here. I hope... <laughs> I hope I haven't bitten off more than I can chew. I actually have done these in an Aurora before. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. Ooh, I'm so excited now. Here we go. Again. I have no idea who's pulling us out of quantum. It's weird. I wonder if we waited there long enough. Like if something would eventually spawn, I don't know. But not worried, you know, not worried about it. Ow, oh, man. All right, here we go, boils and ghouls. Oh, gosh, we're almost there. Drive is now 
I'm scared. No, I'm not really scared. What scares me more is that the asteroids are not spawning in yet. <laughs> And if I can't see them, because we're definitely in the asteroid field, or if we're not already, we're going to be in m mere seconds. All right, so we're almost there. Yep, this is an anvil hurricane. See, this is a very high-risk target. Not really very high risk, though. Okay, we got his two ads now. Oh. Come on, he's got to be going down soon. Uh, where did our other guns go? <laughs> what the heck are, like, I don't know if you guys saw that, but two of my guns, see, that that's what happens when the asteroid field doesn't appear. So, it's a little bit frustrating. Because I almost had him. But um, because the asteroid field wasn't... <laughs> I'm going to blame the asteroid field on this one. You bet it. You bet I am. Um, yeah, I mean, we couldn't see really where any of the debris was. So that's probably what happened is we just, like, smacked into something. Either that or the, ast like, the entire asteroid field spawned in. And we literally spawned in, like, inside of an asteroid. So that's what it seems like happened. Again, the game is in early access, or well, well, it is early access technically, I guess, but it's early alpha. So these kind of bugs happen from time to time. Um, it only frustrates me when I embarrass myself. The terminals actually seem like they're pretty fast uh, today, though. Compared to the first few episodes that we... Or the, you know, the most... I don't know, three or four episodes. Yeah, it seems a lot faster today. Okay, so I cut that last little bit out there. Um, maybe I'll start editing these videos, because... Um, sometimes we we get into like some repetitive spots uh, or a little bit of downtime. Haven't really done anything spectacular other than you know move forward towards the objective. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get in. We're gonna take off, power up, and take off. Go. Fire up the quantum drive immediately. And hopefully we won't get interdicted this time. What I'm also going to do is... I'm going to see if I can... Hello. Just plot a course. That way it's going to give me the most direct route instead of having to maybe go to two outer markers or maybe even three. Uh, we'll just go to one. And then we'll jump direct to the target. See, now I can see all the asteroids. Uh, 
locked onto a warden now. Oh, great. There's a Valkyrie. Where's my other, where's the other dude? So we have to neutralize the warden net. What what the hell's going on? Ah, no, it isn't a warden. Oh man. Got that Valkyrie in there. Oh, this is painful. There we go. We got it. All right, let's get out of here. Advanced tracker license. All right. So now what we're going to do... Is we're gonna look for very high risk targets. Um, I'm gonna take this high risk uh, target group bounty. Now, if we're on a server where there's a lot of other players also doing HRTs, it might be a little bit more difficult to, you know, to, to actually get those bounties. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes out for them. So like in between kills and things like that. Okay, outer marker one. Okay, there's a very, yeah, very high risk target. One kill, 17,500. Yeah. Jalal Defo. Or Defo, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Do, 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 do. What? A little bit more speed here. Okay, another anvil hurricane. And I'm just going to stay on the hurt the primary target. I'm not going to worry about any of the other ads. Now, the only time I might want to change up this strategy is if I um, if I get like an anvil Valkyrie and the other ads are you know a lot more difficult all right let me see if I can get okay let's go to outer marker four wait what is that Comare. no let's go to outer marker four
Jan Jean Vier or John Vier Barroa or Jan Vier. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. <clears throat> I guess we're just going to have to fly under this asteroid. Okay, another hurricane. Yeah, the servers must be running a lot better tonight because we got our primaries and their wingmen or tertiary targets, if you want to even call them that. Um, everybody's kind of uh, spawning in at the same time. Not much of a problem, but it is a little bit hairier when you've got a light fighter like this. Especially when you're a little bit light on DPS. All right, there we go. Okay, where's our last guy? Okay, so he's around the planet there. Let's go for up here, outer marker two. So a lot of people, you know, when they first start doing bounties, they think they need to, to clear out like the whole, you know, like for example, like all three of those targets, like the primary and the two secondaries. Um, the two, the only, the only one that's a target is the one that says neutralize. Once you kill that target, you mo just move on, you know, get the heck out of dodge, move on to the next target. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. You do get a little bit of money for that, but I think the time moving to the next target is probably <clears throat> more valuable than the small amount that you get from those those secondary targets. Now, if you've got a, a ship that's got a, you know really good or really high rate of uh, damage, high DPS weapons, uh, then by all means. You know, if you want to stick around, if it's it's if it's something that you're going to be able to take out quickly, then yeah, go for it. Okay, now here we've got another area where it appears like okay, Vanguard Warden. Yeah, it appears that the <laughs> asteroid field is not spawning in again. So fun times. Let's see how much money do we have. Okay, fifty three. Or 532,000. Okay, let's... Okay, whew, there we go. Asteroids just spawned in. Seven... Come on now. Now right now, again, I'm just concentrating on my flying, trying to stay out of the direct front arc of the, this uh, heavy fighter. And there's our money. On to a different marker. And just throttle up, max throttle. You don't have to use afterburners. And just, you know, hit T. Or I'm sorry, hit B to start spooling. And just, you know, bring up one of those orbital markers, our outer markers, and go. And just, you know, get out of there. Okay, here's the very high risk group bounty. Boom. Let's, um... 
Let's just do the group bounty. Oh gosh, is everybody at one spot? <laughs> Oh, there he is. So one thing I want to check with this bounty, is it actually a North Rock bounty? Yes. So if we check the Delphi unit, we go to North Rock, we're still a security agent, so we only get a 5% bonus. But, you know, the more the more and more of these that we do, the, um, the more money we're going to get. Okay, Anvil Hurricane, no problem really. Wait a second, why is it? Okay, there we go. Okay, we do have, there are some, uh, there is a Valkyrie over there. I don't want any, any part of that guy. Now, if he were to hit me with one of those shotgun blasts that close up, yeah, I'd probably be... It'd just be like one shot and I'd be done. Come on. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Cruise. I'm just going to shoot up the outer marker 5 here, or orbital marker 5. I do have some le uh, damage on my left wing. One of them. Though I'm not seeing it. Okay, all my guns are operating. Okay. Let's go a little faster, maybe. Now let's keep it up. Okay, Vanguard Warden, no problem. Once I see that little inner circle on that reticle, on that X reticle turn green, that means my my guns probably have the highest hit chance, so I'm going to start firing wherever I'm at. Okay, cruise control off. Okay, already blew off one of his tails, and he's done. He is done. Okay. Going to strafe left. There we go. We are in the blue there. Now, depending on, you know, if you've got another ship, 
your uh, overlay might be green or red or something, but um, in this one, it's kind of a light blue color. Vanguard Warden, no problem. Oh gosh. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> okay. Definitely going to put us over 600,000. Oh, we are really getting nailed, though. Come on, baby. Get in there. See that other ship with those shotguns. Oh. Shields are back up. Start pressing the fight back onto this guy. Oh, <laughs> he basically can't move because both of his wings are blown off. If he can move, he can't move much. Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. Now you're going to see uh, occasionally what looks like an alien face down in the, the lower left there. It's not, they're not aliens, they're just humans with scary looking helmets, basically. Alright, so we should still have that other very high risk target. Let's go ahead and track that. We're going to go after this one. just while we're waiting for the other group bounty to pop up. So just, you know, what, 15 minutes ago, we had 530 something thousand. You know, we've made over 100,000 just in that amount of time, you know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever that was. And once you get a good cadence down, I mean, you're just, you're going to start raking in, you know, two, three, hundred thousand, four hundred thousand in a single hour, something like that. Now, I do have to be kind of careful here because uh, it's too dark really to see. Well, I wish there was a way. Oh. Yeah, we just. Now, don't confuse the very high risk with the very low risk. <laughs> okay, there we are down here. going to be a hurricane. Yep. Radar contact. 
I'm starting to be able to tell what kind of ships we're getting just based on the distance that we're uh, able to detect them. The smaller, whoa, the smaller the ship, the, um, oh god, oh. that's it, 17,000 something, just like that. 606, gosh, we're like, we're getting really close to being, you know, being able to buy that new ship. Very high risk. Just do let's just do the very high risks as we can get them. Or maybe until we just get destroyed or something, I don't know. <clears throat> Of course, you're going to be on the other side of the planet. I'm just checking for that very high risk group bounty to, to re pop. Sully. Alivage, something like that. Okay. Flying in here, let's uh Why does it say four bounty hunter missions and there's way more than that? I almost feel like taking that high risk group bounty woes. Get him, get him, get him, get him. to do here they have a cutlass black oh gosh somewhere where is it there he is what is this guy gladius valiant okay we're gonna have to take these guys out because i can't i'm not gonna be able to get away from that that cutty black because they I, they've got like a quantum jammer or something on it okay there's him whoa and they've got that you can kind of see those blue beams I'm pretty sure that is a disruptor might not be a disruptor, but I think those really, like if they hit your shields, they can do a lot of shield damage. Whoa. Uh oh. Well. Come on. Come 
Watch your language, boy. Phew, all right. What? How is my quantum system still jammed? All right, let's just, oh, there we go. Very high risk. Ah, okay, back this way. So let's see, what are we up to? 683, we're gonna be to 700 after this mission. And I probably, let's see, how much? I think we've been recording for, what, about 40 minutes? Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Uh, forgot to bring my charging cable for my phone in here. <laughs> I had to buy a new phone on, on um, 4th of July. My, like, the, like literally the battery of my old phone, which was an iPhone 6X, 6s that i think i bought back in 2016 um so the that phone's like five years old why are we getting kicked out of quantum that's what i want to know um the battery is literally lasting about an hour if if there was like any use of it whatsoever and i was just like you know it's time I, and i went and, and it, i just ordered i just wanted the same phone like if i could have had like another iphone 6s with with like a new battery, um, I'd be completely happy. So I ended up just buying like the iPhone SE, you know, they're like, they're not like terribly expensive. It does everything I needed to do. And yeah, oh, I should have done the whole plot of course thing. But, uh, I just hate spending money on like, like things like phones and stuff. I mean, I know it's like it's just like one of those things. Like, you, it's necessary. You need to have one. Neutralize Errol Swafford. Swafford. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. You can see my little trajectory marker up there. Moving up. I want to zoom in here just to kind of look around, make sure I'm not heading for any pieces of debris. Okay. What is this? Anvil Hurricane. All right. Again, no problem. the heck was that Ooh, something got me good oh gosh oh we we are out of shields oh gosh what did we get hit by we must have gotten hit by a like a, a missile or something come on babies recharge recharge why are my shields not coming back up my shields might be destroyed. What the heck hit me? Uh, system. Come on, man. Give me my system. My menus here. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go external, internal. Uh, why can't I interact with any of my systems? Uh, okay. 
Power off. Power on. Oh gosh. I know my power systems. All right, I'm gonna just go full throttle here. Let's um. Did I? Okay, wait a second. We don't have, yeah, we literally don't have shields. Um, I'm gonna actually go for it. We're probably gonna die right here, but, and I don't wanna take another mission. Yeah, we've got one of our wings blown off there. This guy is the only one I'm caring about. I took him out with no shields and I'm going out. I'm getting out of here. Deploying chaff and flares. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where are where is Hurston? Oh, wait. I'm going to accept that high risk bounty there. Um, oh, gosh. Let's get out of here. I didn't realize I didn't realize that guy was right behind us. Okay. Yes, I know my shields are down. Man. Let's just head to Everest Harbor. What is this warning? I have no idea what why I'm getting this weird warning sound. You hear it? Do -do, do -do, do -do. I've got a shield down warning and a missile warning. It's getting worse. This is like almost like like a look. It's like that's the warning right there. It's almost like my quantum fuel is gonna blow up. Is that what's happening? I'm guys. I've never had this happen before, but this is very similar to what happens when you don't have, or when you're transporting Quantanium and your ship's about ready to blow up. Because Quantanium's like really unstable. So like as soon as you, whoops, as soon as you take, 
Come on. Thank you. Okay, so I'm back, and... Okay, essentially what happened was my recording software ha uh, crashed, which leads me to believe that I might have frame rate issues again in the first half of this video. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. It's giving me like a texture, some kind of like a te an actual texture error um, in the recording software. Now, um, some, somebody brought up, you know, I should, I should use shadow play. Actually, I'm recording with shadow play right now. Um, the, I don't like recording with shadow play because I have no control over the uh, video quality. Um, you know, some, in some games it's really good and other games it's not so good. And, um, maybe because I'm not f as familiar with it, um, that's another reason why I'm a little bit apprehensive. I also don't have the control over the audio that I actually like to have that I like to have in OBS because I can actually you know separate my mic from the in-game sounds so I don't know how the second half of this video is going to turn out um, hopefully I haven't lost anything from the first half <clears throat> but um, thankfully the game hasn't crashed and we are going to be off to do this very high risk bounty and hopefully the high risk bounty after that so the very high risk bounty is going to put it actually if we do both of them we're going to be over 800,000 and really in the next episode um, we'll probably only need to do like one very high risk bounty and we will be ready to buy our new fighter the reliant tana now I'm not a massive fan of the Reliance series. Let me be clear, but the the low cost versus how many guns you can put on that thing, it's it's like a no-brainer. And it you know it, it is kind of a glass cannon, so you have to you know you have to be good at dodging incoming um, you know fire. But I don't know. I just I've gotten really good at using it, and for the low price, I mean it's just a no-brainer. We're gonna go with that, and then after that, we'll just be able to run very high risk. Or uh, you know, yeah, very high risk, very high risk. And we're really gonna start raking the money, and I promise. I mean, we already kind of are. I mean, look at how much we're at seven hundred and two. What did we start this episode out with? 540 something, almost 550. And then we had to spend the five or the 10,000 to get that the new tracker license to allow us to do the very high risk targets. So yeah. All right, so slow down. Okay, this is gonna be like a hurricane, yep. Shields dead. Shields dead. Another thing that I did um, in between. Whoa! What is my what is my radar? What is that? What is going on there? That was weird. Did you see my what my radar was? Yeah, right there. Look at that. What is that? I have never seen that. I almost want to say it's like a DMT or something, but. I doubt that's what it is. All right, okay. This next one might get a little hairy because it looks like we're gonna have two targets at the same location. And on a very high risk target, that's not great, not ideal. Especially in this ship. But that's why they're very high risk. So yeah, this is going to put us up over 760,000, which means, whoa, okay, let's go after him first. What do we got? Vanguard Warden, no problem. Okay, we should 
comes. Shields depth. Oh. Shields fast. I think we got some good hits on him. See, when I can get really in close here, we should be getting more penetration when we're in close like this. Like more bullet penetration through these shields. Boom! All right. Let's move straight on to the next target. I want to get out of the range of any of his wingmen. Usually about 10 kilometers will do it. We got an extra 1,200 for that. What do we got here? Anvil Hurricane. All right. Is this the last target? I think this is the last target of the very high risk. Oh gosh, okay, so now we've got additional units. There we go. Um, full, whoop. Full throttle. Let's get the heck out of here. Yep, oh, 771,000. All right, let's go ahead. What do we got here? We're gonna track this. That's gonna put us over 800,000. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll be able to definitely, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it in this episode, but the next one for sure, um, we're gonna be able to come back and um, really, we'll, we'll be able to get the, We'll be able to get to the ship, like, no problem. Uh. Drive is now off. What is going on? Okay. Um. Let's see. Radu Shipley. Let's... Oh, I see what's going on here. Bottom drive is now off. Bottom drive is now off. Pretty hot. Okay. See, see a piece like a rock right there. I don't want to. Okay, we're good now. Anvil hurricane. Shields damaged. Shields damaged, but not destroyed. Unlike him. What is my radar doing? This is so weird. Um, Alright, we got two more targets to go.
we might actually end up earning enough that we only need to do like one very high risk bounty to, to earn enough to get our new ship. We're going to have like no money when we're done, but we're going to have a really fun ship. And we'll actually be able to do deliveries in that one if we really want to as well. So maybe we'll branch out into some new uh, mission types. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to use my left shift. That's my afterburner to kind of get me in line. Then I'm going to uh, speed up again. The afterburners in Star Citizen don't work like you would think they would. Um, they're really short duration. They're just used for, you know, changing uh, pitch and roll. Well, not roll necessarily, but, you know, basically changing your direction a lot more quickly. Uh, Anvil Hurricane, no problem. When you see how the Reliant Tana is going to cut through some of these ships, you are going to be like, oh my gosh, I am buying one of those. <laughs> All right. Um, let's OM2 maybe? Ah, let's just go to OM2. Since we're already calibrated to it. That was the right choice. So is this the last guy we need? Uh, neutralized bounties, one of three left. Yep. That's it. Kafu. Everly. I love the music in this game. So it's going to be interesting when I start editing my video to see if I'm, I was having frame loss like I was, I think it was like episode three or four. Several episodes back we had a similar issue where I was playing and all of a sudden my recording software crashed out. Now, again, I'm using an old ver... I'm using, like, the original OBS. I'm not using OBS Studios or Slobs or Streamlabs OBS to record. Um, I'm actually using the original OBS. It's just really simple, and for, like, the vast majority of games, it does exactly what I need it to do. But in a couple games here recently, I've been having problems... Um, actually recording things and so and the reason why I, I never used Streamlabs or um, you know OBS Studio I don't like the layout of OBS Studio um, at all now Streamlabs OBS kind of takes the layout of OBS Studios but it, it improves it um, what it oh gosh I've got a Valkyrie now Okay, I, got, I gotta concentrate here. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I had, just for doing like video recording, I always thought the old Streamlabs was so much better. Okay, I think we're overheating here. Yep. So you guys will have to let me know if this, <laughs> the post crash um, video and audio is any good, let me know down in the comment section, because it may, that might determine what I'm going to be using in the future, who knows, I might, I might update my workflow for the first time in five years, oh, oh, oh he's got to be almost down, come on baby, get him, get him, get him, uh, I know my engines are critical. I don't. Oh gosh. Come on. Yes. Get, whoa, that 
was trippy. Um, let's see if I can find... Where's Hurston? There's Ida. Comma ray, out, orbital marker. All right, let's just go for OM3. And what are we up to? 820,000! Guys, we do like one more probably like high risk target uh, group bounty. And we're gonna have the money to get to get what we need. It's gonna be freaking awesome. All right. Well, we're gonna head back. Okay, as soon as my ship starts stops spazzing out, we're gonna head back to um, Everest Harbor. Um, Viking. Oh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, where are we at? Where's ever? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, I thought they were. I thought we would be there already. Wait, did I just go to Hurston? Or I thought I was like actually targeted on Everest, but I don't know. Maybe I wasn't. Singing the song of the Star Citizen song. Oh, still not letting us. Whoops. Did not want to take. <laughs> Helps if I hit the right button. I'm like hitting all these buttons. <clears throat> Pisces, don't see those around too often, even though on my other account I have quite a few of them. <laughs> I think I have like three or four or something like that. Engines off. Engines off. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Oh, whoops. Alrighty. Well, that is going to be it for me tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me once again, playing some Star Citizen, um, earning some money here. And in the next episode, like I said, we're going to just probably have to do like one, like one mission maybe, and we will have enough, enough money for our, um, our new ship. Actually, we might even have enough money for it. No, no. No, no, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I, I was thinking, I was doing some different math in my head. No, we need like the eight, 800, I think it's 870,000 um, Alpha UEC. So um, we'll be back in the next episode. We'll continue on and uh, we'll get the new ship, the Reliant Tana. So stay tuned, leave a like, leave a comment if you haven't already done so about, you know, the second half of the video. Um, you know, quality, audio, all that stuff. And um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. If you want to get involved in Star Citizen, use my affiliate link. It's down in the video description. Click the link, create an account. Um, if you jump on board and, and actually buy a, a game package using my affiliate link, you'll start out with an extra 500,000 Alpha UEC in game. So guys and gals, thank you again so much for watching. This has been Star Citizen. I am Brad M73, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.